tops. This is the brownie one with fudge cream filling. This is the chocolate ice with more chocolate ice. And this is the um, black and white. So it's chocolate chip with white icing. The food one did not have the, I think it's called the chocolate cake one. So. I'm excited to try these. Choco man. All right, y'all. So I'm recording. Not really ready to record, but I'm recording because I told y'all I was going to do a review on these donuts. And it's only like two left. So let me stop playing with y'all. Let me get y'all this. Let's see. The donuts have been donut. So this is the brownie one. Go in the store. They'll actually give you brownie pieces. It's barely any brownie pieces on here. Just one or two. Um, but the fudge cream filling is A1. And then this is the chocolate chip one. So let me try this one. I said donuts because ain't nobody eating them but me. Salud. It's the chocolate chip one. I just love Chris Brown. It's so good. The chocolate chips with the white frosting. It says it all. And then this is the brownie one. It don't really have much brownies on it. That's why I was like, go to the store. Because the ones at Fulon don't got much brownies. So I'm going to try brownie. Tastes like a decent brownie. But the start of this show is that fudge filling. <laughs> to me, Krispy Kreme had the best chocolate filling I've ever had with donuts. So, yeah. If you're a chocolate fan, the Choco Mania is for us. Okay? What's up, y'all? First, let's get a thumbnail. I don't know what that pose was. Oh, what's up, what's up, what's up? Today is Sunday, and we're doing brunch with the girls. With the girls. If you saw my previous vlog, you can see I did a haul on this outfit. I just switched out the shirt. I just switched out the shirt. I originally had with these pants and I feel like this goes better. I got this purse. I'm trying to figure out if I wanna add like some jewelry or keep it just basic today. I think I might add some earrings and that's not the camera. I think I might add some earrings and call it a day. Call it a day. Cool of the day. Yeah, we're doing girl brunch today, so stay tuned. We'll see what we get into. Yes, ma'am. Let's see what some jewelry do. We'll just add that pop. So I got just some stud earrings. Um, I got this heart necklace. It's like the universe. It's a heart and it has the universe on it. Um, gold bracelet and a ring. So I'm feeling cute nail line, yeah. Yeah, this works. I'm gonna do some white flats with this, and we are good for brunchy brunch. Yeah, blank you mean. Look at the lattes. <laughs> That's a regular one to me. Not regular, You're always trying to copy me. That's right. Yes. Okay, well, I gotta change it out. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. Okay. I have no idea what I'm here. But the love is still here. I need to see you coming in the store. Y'all say hey to the ball. Hi.
So brunch with my girls was really good. We were able to catch up. We all needed it, honey, because life be life. And, and you just need to hang out with your friends when life be life. And But the place we went to is Smash Waffles, y'all. 10 out of 10. The food, the presentation, the prices, 10 out of 10. I had a honey bun latte with the chicken um waffle sandwich with some hash browns my friends had the sausage and like different coffees y'all the food was so good everything was so good oh bmf season three you better get on it hey y'all um let's wrap up this video video so as you can see i had a very i had a very fun girl weekend it was so good to catch up with my friends we had some really good food i know i mentioned it over the voiceover but smash waffles very good i will definitely be back affordable everything was delicious down to the ketchup <laughs> but <clears throat> just want to wrap up this video sorry if it's a glare sorry if it's the angle it's weird for y'all but um it is finally March. How y'all feeling? People like January took her time. And February was like, I got somewhere to be. But it is March. I'm getting excited because they like saving time. I think it ends. Sorry, y'all got a phone call, but saying it is March, so it's about to be spring. I'm so excited because daylight saving time is ending. If I'm saying it right. So it's about to get back to that dark to that o'clock. And that's where I shine, honey. So I'm excited. I literally have a hair appointment this Friday coming up. So this video, probably last video, you see these locks. But it's time to take them off. I've had these since my birthday. So my birthday's in January. It's, it's March a new month. But um, yeah, I just wanted to close it out. Um, BMF, I don't know if you guys watch BMF, but I'm really into BMF. I got into BMF. Was it last year when the season two premiered? So, like, basically 2022 December, I bench watched season one, which was lit to me because by the time I got done with season one, I only had to wait like a month or two for season two. So, <clears throat> great cast, great story based on true events. So, I've been waiting all year for season three and just heard it got approved for season four. So, that's one of my only shows that I'm really caught up on. Besides, like, Umbrella Academy, B-Star, stuff like that. I have a lot of shows I love to watch, but I'm so behind on a lot of them. So, I feel proud. So, that came out. Check it out if you like gritty drama action stuff. It's rated R, so if that's not your thing, skip. Um, And then, last, I just wanted to tell y'all about my horrible urgent care experience. I'm not going to spend too long on it because I don't want to get emotional. But, like, I really feel like I survived a horror story, and I'm just so happy to be over it. I basically got a cyst in my butt. Had one. Um, anybody who knows that procedure, if it gets really bad. I've only had cysts to the point where they just use numbing cream. Cut it and drain it. I was on my way. I've never had one so severe where they had to use the needle. Then cut it to use packing. But this one apparently was that deep. Um, so, well, the day before I went, it had burst a little but then got back hard. So, I went... They had me waiting, y'all, from 5.45. Got to 7 just to be like they didn't check me in correctly. They were trying to get me to come back the next day. At this point, I can hardly walk. Like, it hurts to sit. Y'all had me sit. I want to be seen. Get back there around 8-something. I left there around 9.40. Supposed to close at 8. I don't know if a doctor called up or something, but I just felt very rushed. I felt no compassion at all. It wasn't even a nurse in my room. Y'all know that's a huge HIPAA violation. The doctor I was working on, the first doctor was a woman, but when I came back, it was a man. We're going to get into it. <clears throat> so this procedure, if you never had it, it's apparently very painful. Well, I've been through it, very painful. Wouldn't want nobody experience. They Imagine putting a needle in an affected area. So they said the needle was supposed to be pain pain medicine as a black woman in america i don't know why the doctors don't think we don't deal with pain they only gave me one percent medic lot of cane which is very low um one percent so gave it worse pain felt like somebody was stabbing me with a knife on fire that's the best way i can describe it she didn't even wait for it to kick in before she started doing the operation so i'm feeling the cuts like it was horrible feeling the packing 
Like when I left that place, it was like, thank God I went to get all that infection out because there was so much infection when she put the needle in, like infection bounced on the needle. But I literally walked to my car and I just broke down crying because I couldn't believe I went through something like that. No compassion. Like, you know how somebody's saying sorry, but you feel like they're not sorry? Like you keep saying sorry, but you're rushing through this procedure. <clears throat> Came back for a follow-up two days later. Weight went bad. But they never gave me my pain medicine. I had to end up buying a leave. I went back Wednesday after having something so severe. I had to have work off because that's how severe it was, y'all. They gave me a note. I didn't even ask. She was like, you've been through a lot tonight, so I'm going to give you a note. <clears throat> so I'm driving by myself for y'all to fix the medication. They never sent me the right medication. Had to take a leave that did the job. They sent me the antibiotics. At least that worked. Got back there Thursday. Blood pressure was 150 or 100 because I was so nervous to be back in that place, y'all. Just for a man doctor to come in, which I literally heard him arguing with his wife before he gave me the to check my packaging. Just for him to act like he barely wanted to touch me. No nerves, so I'm naked, basically bottom down in front of a doctor. He wanted to wait till I'm pulling my pants down to do this. To say, oh, the packaging fell out. Now, it was like packaging strain, so I did see like some packaging strain fall, fell out when I was cleaning that area. But y'all, I don't trust these people. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, are you sure? Like, why is it hard stuff? Because if you leave packaging in your body, that can cause infection. But he was like, no, trust me, it wouldn't be healing because the hole was getting smaller and smaller. <clears throat> and it's pretty much almost gone now. It's just a lot of abrasion. That's why I'm still like, right now I'm doing a heat compression, like I'm sitting on a heating pad um it wouldn't be healing if it looks great you're fine trust me trust me um i will be filing a complaint i don't know who you file a complaint to with medical officers but i will be doing research to do that i'm not trying to do no lawsuit i'm not trying to sue i'm not trying to do like i just don't want another person ever in life going through what i went through like this surgery is known to be very painful like, sometimes they have to put you to sleep because they know if they keep you up, it's not going to be good. It's that serious. For you to have no empathy and rush through the procedure, no respect. Like, Dad, could you have just waited two minutes before the shot kicked in before doing that? Y'all didn't give me the right medic. It was just awful. Like, <laughs> I'm just ten times happier now because I feel like I survived a horror story. Like, I really do, y'all. I feel like I survived a horror movie. I'm so scared to ever have to go through that type of pain. Like, I never want to experience that type of pain. Now, I, I completely, I used to not, but I completely get why people be like, I'm scared to go to the doctor, I'm scared to go to the dentist. Because when you have an experience like that, you are legit ter terrified. I did check my blood pressure the next day. It was 126 over 90, so still a little high, but much better than 150 over 100. Um, Now, it's like every little thing in my body is like, ooh. Am I going to have another one of those? Like, my big toe hurt. I'm like, oh, is this an ungrown nail? Am I have to, you know, like, all that. But I just wanted to put this story in here just to say, don't let nobody do an injustice to you and let it slide. Because you're that's not serving you or one or other. So I already did one bad review. Um, next week, because I want to type out a long paragraph. Like, I really want to get into it. I'm going to do a long Google review. And then the next step of that is calling to file because they have so many, I feel like, HIPAA violations is ridiculous. And the point of urgent care is to help you skip the long waits in the ER. So stop taking on a lot of patients if we're still going to be waiting as long as the ER. Like have a cutoff limit and keep moving. Like the point of you urgent care is to keep to help the ER. So, if you know your limit that day is 30 patients, stop it. The problem is they're overbooking because they want that insurance money. Like, y'all had me waiting the first time for almost four hours. Yeah, because I didn't get a call back to, like, eight something. But y'all was quick as soon as I walked in there to get my 158, um, what's it called? Copay. So, y'all, I just feel like I survived and I never want to go through something like that. But I'm definitely going to use my voice, um. Cause they need to be an investigation. It's just too many hip loss. Like I could hear the nurses saying they're ready to go. Nurses cussing. Like just unprofessional. Like I don't want y'all working with me. Like where's the respect? Like at the ER, yeah, it's gonna be a long hours, but at least I know they're gonna take their time and treat me. Cause guess what? The ER know they don't close. They're open twenty four seven. You do your shift and that's it. So, um, that was that, y'all. I've just been relaxing this weekend, just enjoying myself, and um. 
just glad to be on the healthy side again so thank y'all for watching shout out to y'all for watching my last video that number is that video is doing numbers so i could tell y'all like the vlog so if y'all do i will definitely try to keep that going as much as i can it's about to be summer I might do like a summer haul or what do i wear when i go out to the club hall dinner hall where i go when i have a date like you know what do i wear when i have a date stuff like that because i see y'all are really rocking with it so i appreciate y'all so thank y'all for watching bye